Prashanan and I am working as an assistant professor in the department of civil engineering. So uh, in the last module we have uh, seen the various uh, classifications of roads along with that what is the role of highway planning and how it leads to the growth of uh, a country in terms of economic, social, cultural and industrial basis. So today we are going to continue uh, with the same chapter that is highway planning and today we will be discussing on uh, history of road development in, in India and along with that we are going to see what were the uh, present situations of various road plans that were implemented in India. So these are the contents for the module 2 that is the brief history of uh, road developments in India and present status of roads in India. Now uh, looking into the brief history of road developments in India, if you see uh, like in the ancient uh, India, uh, for example during the Mughal period uh, in the 19th century, the road conditions were not that good. Okay. Uh, but the thing is during that time the traffic system did not include any sophisticated type of modes of transportation. Mostly it, uh, mostly the mode of transportation was uh, used to be uh, horse drawn vehicles or bullock carts. So during that time whatever was the situation of the road it was able to handle that type of traffic flow. But after the world war 1 the demand of better roads started to increase. Why? Because uh, now today if you see the same road is used by various uh, modes of transportation whether it be bullock carts, whether it be horse drawn vehicle, whether it be a two wheeler car or bus. So all these modes now if we, we have to classify this type of uh, traffic condition we will term it as heterogeneous traffic condition or mixed traffic condition which is followed in this country. Okay. So that is why that is the reason uh, the road that existed uh, in the 19th century were not capable of handling such type of mixed traffic condition that is why there was a need of improvement in the road conditions. So for this, this purpose a uh, committee was formed in the year 1927 uh, named as Jaikar committee with uh, the chairman as Mr. M. R. Jaikar. The main aim was to examine the current situation that existed at that time regarding the roads and provide a report on the questions on various road development plans that can be implemented in the future. Okay. So based on that uh, uh, Jaikar committee, uh, there were some recommendations that were given in the year 1928 and uh, these uh, there are four such recommendations that we can see here. Uh, first is road development plan. Uh, then we have extra text in form of Central Road Fund 1929 and then uh, what we say uh, development of a se semi-official or initiation of a semi-official technical body as Indian Roads Congress in the year 1934. Along with that there was a need of starting a research organization which will look after uh, various uh, works related to research and development of the country and uh, that started with the, the uh, Central Road Research Institute that is CRRI which is situated in Delhi in the year 1950. Apart from these recommendations uh, there was one Motor Vehicle Act that was introduced in the year 1939 and later it was revised in 1988. The main aim of this act was uh, to uh, tell people that uh, the vehicles can be driven by those people only whose age is 18 or more. Now looking into the road development plan first. So these road development plans uh, uh, plan were for uh, existed for 20 years each. So we will be discussing about uh, three uh, road development plans uh, in the later slides uh, such as the Nagpur road development plan. Then we will discuss about Bombay road development plan and then Lucknow road development plan. In the extra text that we see here in the form of central road fund. So in this case there was a tax that was imposed on the road users uh, based on the petrol or the fuel that they were using and this uh, central road uh, this central road fund was introduced in the year 1929. Okay. This was required for the development of or uh, the improvement of the uh, road that existed during that time. Okay. Then uh, semi-official semi body uh, that is IRC uh, as a part of IRC HRB that
so uh, this hrb was responsible for carrying out all the technical activities that were related to irc so going to the next part that is the first 20 year road development plan in india so as i mentioned uh, this plan was uh, termed as nagpur road development plan uh, which started from the year 1943 and was planned till 1963 covering a time span of 20 years uh, the target road density that was set for this particular road plan was 16 kilometers per 100 square kilometer area and the target was achieved before time by the year 1961. Then uh, based on this, the next road development plan of 20 years was uh, uh, initiated from the year 1961 to 1981 known as Bombay Road Development Plan. Then uh, the second 20 year road development plan in India was named as Bombay Road Development Plan as I told you before. Uh, this uh, started from the year 1961 and continued till the year 1981. Now, the target density, the target road density that was uh, uh, kept for this particular road plan was 32 kilometers per 100 or I can say it was uh, 10,57,330 kilometers in length. The target was achieved by the year 1981. Uh, with the, the road density of 34.8 kilometers per 100 square kilometer of area. The financial cost as per the cost and uh, plan of 1958 was found to be rupees 5200. Uh, then the next road development plan was introduced from the year 1981 to 2001, which was named as Lucknow Road Development Plan. Now this was prepared by the road wings of MORTH. So, MORTH is uh, Ministry of Road Transports and Highways. And the main aim of this particular road plan was to look after the rural, rural development, the road safety and environmental impact assessment. The target road density set for this particular plan was 82 kilometers per 100 square kilometer of area or in length we can say 27 lakhs of kilometer. So, the target length that was achieved uh, for this particular uh, road plan was 32.76. Uh, however, it was seen that the target that was set for the national highway and state highway were not met in this case. Okay, And more importance or more priority I should say was given to uh, the improvement in the major district roads or other district roads and the village roads. So, in the next uh, module, we will be discussing about the current scenario of roads in India.